Now, when it comes to mental health, many people will feel that the pandemic's effects are going to stick around for a very long time. In fact, doctors say eating disorders have spiked during the first year with as much as uh, past year, I should say, with as much as 40 percent increase in people seeking help for it. CBS 17's Maggie Noodland is digging deeper tonight into the reasons for this. And I know a lot of people talked about some of the eating habits that took place, but it's a very serious issue last year. It is a very serious issue, and doctors say they are both seeing people who are dealing with eating disorders for the first time and people who are relapsing after recovery. Katie Rigitko has struggled for years with an eating disorder. Before the pandemic, things were going better. Then came the quarantines. Um, when it first started, things got really bad. The isolation was a really big factor. Katie lost the in-person support system that helped with recovery. Not being able to see them in person and not really having as much of a way to like make more friends or like meet new people. I think that's been kind of difficult. But there's just this increased amount of stress overall. Dr. Christine Peet, director of the National Center of Excellence for Eating Disorders at UNC, says stress, isolation, and anxiety can contribute to eating disorders. And since the pandemic, the program has seen a big increase in people who need help. We're probably tracking somewhere between 30 and 40 percent increase in referral volume. Eating disorders are these conditions that really tend to thrive in secrecy. Plus, you add in all the stress, there really is the opportunity there for an eating disorder to kind of sprout. She says she's also seen people who were in recovery relapse. The pandemic, um, you know, just kind of made the conditions ripe for their eating disorder to come back. And eating disorders won't just go away because COVID restrictions are easing. And there's every indication that the mental health implications of this pandemic are going to be really long term. There's been a lot of like ups and downs. Fortunately, Katie isn't struggling as much anymore. I've been doing a lot better. But recovery is always a work in progress. And some eater eating disorder centers actually have wait lists right now because demand is so high. If you're struggling or you know someone who is, we have some links on our website. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. Maggie, thanks very much.